of course, you know, spring has sprung and it's time to get busy creating and developing those things that we want to add around the home. Some of those things that we don't want to um, buy that we want to make our own. And one being, um, I like to make my own wreaths. So this is one that I started and when I came out here last evening, I did not have my camera with me and it was too dark to go back. But basically all I have is the grapevine wreath here. I didn't have my zip ties, so I actually used these, um, these little ties here, Chanel stems. But I'm going to go back in and add my zip ties. But this is just the... So what you see me pointing at here is actually the dogwood garland that I have um, added to the... But I have two of them, and I just wrap them around the, um, the um, grapevine wreath added in some extra picks such as these here went in with these little uh, picks here of flowers here and I'm going to create a bow to go here in the center so I just wanted to share with you guys I'm gonna get busy changing out the um, actually you know what I think I'm just gonna leave the Chanel stems there's no need to um, interrupt what I have going on in the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie these in and I may add some zip ties just to secure it just a little bit more. So guys, go ahead, grab your coffee, tea, whatever it is that you're choosing to drink, sit back, relax as I welcome you guys. We're back out at Serenity Place where we try to make a little magic happen. I'm your host here, Gigi Faison, and I love anything dealing with the home so i love creating my own wreaths that's one thing i do love to do here on this channel is create my own wreaths i love home decor decorating my home in the many different seasons and just sharing with you guys those things that i come up with so spring is definitely in the air spring has sprung and this is my spring wreath i'm going to work on my bow that i want to go in the middle not quite sure what I want to use. Now I have some of this ribbon and this ribbon and this ribbon. And when I was out here last night, I didn't bring my scissors. I did not bring my uh, zip ties. I was just coming out and at the spur of the moment, decided, let me go ahead and make my own wreath. So you know how that goes. So guys, again, I welcome you all here. If you like um, home decor and DIYs and shopping hauls and life in general, um, it's, been, it's what I do on my channel here. Sorry, I'm trying to get my roll of ribbon that's running away. But that's what I love to do here on this channel. I just love sharing with you guys the things that I have going on. Um, in my home, especially doing my little seasonal um, decor change out. And I love saving money and I love creating my own wreaths. So this is what we're going to do today. And I think I want to use this. For sure this, if you can see. It's here. And then the yellow polka dots. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. And this is just a bag of, um, of um, ribbon that I purchased from the pottery, um, Carolina pot Pottery. Uh, I think it was last year, maybe year before when they had their end of season clearance marked down. And I want to do something with this lemon and black and white ribbon, but I think I'm going to save that to do that in the house. Do have some of this larger ribbon that I think might go perfectly with this ribbon here. So I'm just going to play around and see what I can come up with. And this is some ribbon with the bee. May change that out a little bit later into the summer. 
So now I need to decide how I want to make my bow. Let me just see if my fingers will allow me to do it this way here. So this is how I like to do it by tucking and then creating that little centerpiece. So you just pinch and hold once you get that. And then you twist because it is um, doesn't have the same pattern on both sides. So we'll just kind of twist. And I just kind of gauge at my loops to try to get them all about the same size. And then we just pinch and twist and then pull it back out. Again, I've got to pinch and twist. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. No, you know what? I don't want to make the loop in the middle because <clears throat> I'm going to add some of the other ribbon on top. doing the same thing just twisting and turning making sure that I keep it all on the same size side and make sure that I keep the um aspect. so guys I'm trying to stay in frame so you can see what I'm doing but I'm feeling a little awkward so I may have to come back and share another video with me creating bows so guys I hope you are having an amazing day I hope you are preparing for um, Easter Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and as we all get together with family and friends and have church and just enjoy making memories with our families you know the grandkids um, they love um, looking for the eggs and they love the little Easter baskets and the bunny and twisting here. And I promise you this is going to look better once I get it all done. And I'm putting five loops. doing this just remember to twist so that you can have the same pattern if you were um, if the pattern was on both sides then you really wouldn't have to worry about it so much but because the other side is different I want to make sure it comes out right so I'm going to go in and Try this off or start this with the Chanel spoon for now, and I'll probably come back with the zip ties.
So this is my final result of my gorgeous wreath that I'm going to place on my front door. I've added in my bow and little picks, placed a little bunny here. Once Easter is over, I can remove the little bunny because I just basically have her or have it tied uh, with a piece of twine on the back. And so, yeah, this is what we got. This is what we're going with. I love it. You guys let me know what you think by leaving me a comment in the comment section. Be blessed and until you see it on the front porch.